I was trying to make tutorials for custom HTML info boxes for Google Earth. And in the process, I switched text editors to Visual Studio Code, which is a free text ed editor. And what I liked about it was there were extensions available. And if you want, I'll make videos later or maybe a blog post later on how I set up this environment. Right now, I'm just going to show you what I ended up doing today. Um, so like I said, there are extensions that you can add to Visual Studio Code. And I decided to make my own called GE HTML Snippets to make it easier to actually create custom HTML into Google Earth for web. So I have two panels here, one simple audio, and then another one that's going to be simple iframe, and both of those are two different custom HTMLs. So basically how it works is I'm going to add a new file, and I'm going to call this one simple audio.html. It has to be an HTML file, that's why I'm saying .html. Let's put my screen here. And then from this, I can just call that entire audio template by just typing in GE audio. Actually, I just have to do GE A, maybe a U. Just hit enter because that's what it was highlighted on. And then there's the entire uh, custom HTML for an audio. The other nice thing is that I have these cursor already here to replace tile. So you can replace all the variables that are in um, this text file right here, the storyboard. So I'm just going to copy this and then double click, make sure that whole thing is highlighted, and then paste. And when I hit tab, it'll take me to the next replace variable. So there's the description. So I'll come over here to the description of my storyboard. Control C, double click to make sure that the whole thing is highlighted, and then paste. Hit tab, and it's going to take me to the images. So the way I have it set up is the textual information first, followed by the media. So here's the image URL. That's what it's saying, replace image URL. So I'm going to come over here and then control C, double click, paste. I went ahead and put in a caption for the images just to make it easier for me later. And there's actually a way that you can link the resource. So here's image source URL. So control C, replace image source URL, double click it, make sure it's all highlighted, paste. I must not double click it, which is cool because that lets you figure out what I'm trying to do here. Because the next one is image source title. And so because it's not, I messed up the tab, I have to look for anything that says replace image source right here. So it says image source title, but see how it's replace all caps. Go ahead and highlight that whole thing and hit paste. And then my MP3 audio, I need to find the replace in all caps MP3 URL, which is right here. Go ahead and highlight that whole thing and then hit paste. And there's nothing else in my story map, so it should be all good. I'm going to hit save, control S, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, click control all to get all of the information here and then copy it. And then I'm going to bring this over to Google Earth. I'm going to create a new project. So create project VS code fun is what I'm going to go ahead and title it and then I'm going to give it a place mark and this is simple audio edit the place and then change that to large info box and again it's custom HTML so I'm going to switch to the HTML and then just replace that with what I have here it is saved and then there's my uh, tag. Simple audio. Here is an HTML example of using HTML5 audio tag in a Google Earth project. Sorry about the styling created on the fly. So the audio played. Again, here's the title. Here's the HTML. There's the image. There's the caption for the image with a link in it. And then the actual audio itself. Pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and just move this to the side real quick. And I'll show you how to create another one. Maybe it won't mess up the tabs this time, so I don't have to go looking for those replace, uh, capital replace. So I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to call this one simple. This one should be more simple. iframe because I think it's only three. HTML, make sure it ends in HTML. All right. And then again, just look for the shortcut, GE iframe this time. And then we're back to replace the title. And then I'm going to go ahead and 
tab and then replace the description, control C, and then go ahead and hit tab. And then for the URL itself and iframes in the embed code, all you can put here really because of the way it's styled to make sure that it fits the frame right is the URL for the iframe. So you'll see something called S source SRC um, equals and then whatever is in the quotations. This is the source for uh, a street view paste. Cool. And when I hit tab again, I know I'm finished because I'm at the very bottom and I have nothing less in my storyboard. So I can grab all that, copy that, and then create a new point real quick. And then this one will be a simple iframe, large info box. Again, that's the way the template's set up. Replace this with the new, and then the preview, and then you have your iframe, which is the street view the title and the description. So much easier uh, custom HTML uh, with the filter. And go back and you can have back to your audio. Um, there's other templates within HTML, uh, GE HTML snippets. Here's the shortcuts. So I use GE audio and GE iframe just now to create the HTML snippets. I have one for a single image, one for a car carousel, and then to add more images to the carousel, there's a um, little shortcut there. Quiz questions, quiz answers. Again, I'm going to have to put in classes here for shortcuts. And if you're interested, I'll make a video over the rest of these prefixes. Plus, I can make videos on how to set up Visual Studio Code and then add my uh, extension to create your own custom HTML Google Earth files. I don't know if anybody else is going to be interested in it, but it was fun to make and I enjoyed the process. Uh, but I also enjoyed the fact that I can kind of speed up my own workflow.